I did a video earlier on a Hewlett Packard shaft encoder, a rotary, rotary encoder that was part of a, a, a box. And I showed the internal mechanisms and stuff. And one of the mechanisms is there is what, was, what we called a code wheel. It's a, it's a piece of metal with some slots in it. And it, some people would call it a photo interrupter disc or something like that. Um, so there was a whole bunch of different um, resolutions. You could get a certain number of counts, right? You paid more money for the, for the maximum counts, <laughs> you know? So, um, so one day at work, I was over talking to a friend of mine and he was cleaning out a cabinet, one of those kind of brown metal cabinets uh, that you see in offices. And he was, he was cleaning it out and throwing it in the trash can. I says, what are you doing? He goes, well, uh, we've moved all of the production line to Malaysia and we are no longer, I don't remember if it was Malaysia or Singapore. Um, anyway, he said, we're moving it all offshore and there's no reason to have any spare parts or any engineering parts here in the States. So I've just been told to throw them in the trash can. <laughs> and I looked to see what he was throwing away and I just couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to watch the trash man carry it away. So um, I just shoved them in a bag and took them home. So, so here they are. Uh, they haven't seen the light of day for a very long time. I, I did have some that I sold on eBay for a while. And um, I still seem to have some of those. I should probably put some of those on eBay. People might be interested in them. Now, the problem with these things, so here's what I'm talking about, okay? Uh, let's see if I can zoom in and, 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 and show this, okay? So this is a uh, metal, a piece of metal with little tiny slots in it. The, this is chemically etched, okay? So this is super, super thin. You can see it's a... I mean, it's stainless steel, but it's, but it's just super, super thin. And these little metal slots are chemically etched. And um, so, um, you know, I have a lot of, <laughs> a lot of them. I've got thousands and thousands and thousands of them um, of all different sizes. So like here, here's, here's a big one. Uh, there were some tiny ones. Like, yeah, here, here, here's some little tiny ones. So I've got all the different shapes and sizes and everything. Like I said, they're going in the trash can now. Now, how, how valuable are they? Well, you can't just use one. Uh, you need to have the other side. And the other side was the expensive bit that had the emitter and the detector on it. And it has to be the right diameter and it has to match. So you have to have a complete set in order to use these. And then you have to have a uh, some type of metal hub. Uh, these were actually, I think, glued on to the hub. So there was a fancy fixture that made these concentric to high precision and you glued them down. Um, so let me show you one that's put together. Uh, let's see, do I have one that's open? I don't think so. So this one says uh, Hewlett Packard 846-X made in Singapore. So the production line must've been in Singapore. Um, I think it all got, finally got sold off to a Taiwanese company if I remember right, but anyway, I don't think. I don't think Agilent built some keys out here. So here is one uh, that is complete. Let me let me remove this protective thing here. Okay, so it has a metal uh, hub, and the you could buy them with different inner diameters. So this looks like it's maybe five millimeters or something, and and then there's a little set screw on the side, and then the wheel is um, glued down. Uh, this looks like it's a plastic wheel. So some of them were stainless steel, some of them were plastic. This is a, uh, this is plastic. And there is a number on this, uh, which I don't think is going to tell us anything, but this is probably a thousand count wheel. This is probably a very, very high precision th thousand count wheel. Um, so I didn't put that in the box, right? And it goes like this and then like this. Um, so there were some really expensive ones, which I think, I think, I guess I sold them all off. I don't see any here. They were glass. They were glass wheels with, with uh, metalization on the glass. And they were a thousand count wheels. And those were super high precision, but I think I sold all of those on eBay many years ago. Um, but anyway, yeah, here's a bunch of, uh, here's a bunch of tiny ones. I'm trying to think if there's any, any that look really interesting. Here's a nice big one. I'm going to have to probably tape these all back down again. They, they, they do tend to go all over the place. 
Um, uh, I might get out some things here. Uh, let's see if we can find some other things here. Here's some wheels. Oh, there we go. Oh, these are interesting. Uh, so these are shiny on the bottom. So these are not transmissive. These are reflective wheels. Okay, so these look like they are plastic with metalization on both sides. So it has metalization slots on the front, but they're not slots because there's a mirror on the back. So you use them, use them from one side. So that's, that's what these things are. Uh, there's all kinds of, all kinds of different ones. Here's some, here's some more plastic ones. And uh, now these are cool. You'll like these. So these are, um, let's see, a 64 code wheel, uh, date 1990. Uh, Kansaito, so these were made in Japan. Uh, yeah, here we go. So uh, this is how these were constructed. So all the little wheels are on one. So this is, this is again, this is stainless steel and these are all chemically etched. And then, uh, you would break them apart. You would reach in and, and break one of these little wheels out, which isn't easy to do, is it? Interesting. They must've had, they must've had a punch that punched them out. Uh, these must have been rejects because they have X's in them. Uh, but anyway, uh, so you can see we would just get... So these were probably engineering samples from that particular corporation. Maybe maybe that wasn't an approved vendor and we were seeing if they could do the work. And so they made they made a, a, a lot of these. When, we, when I say a lot, it means a, a, a group. A lot is a, is a group of parts. So they made one group of parts and then they did probably engineering studies on them to see if they, if they passed or not. Um, Here's a really, here's some really crude wheels. You can see these are only, uh, only a very small amount of counts as they go around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, this is probably like a 32 count wheel or something. Um, let's see. I'll get out a better lens here in a bit to show you the kind of the, the big overall lay of the land here. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of envelopes here. I have no idea whether this is. I can see through it. These are all, these are all just code wheels, all in individual packaging. Uh, probably 512 count wheels. That would be my guess. Yeah, let's see if we can open one of these up. Yeah, looks like a, looks like a high count wheel, 512 counts. Um, yeah, this one's interesting. Where's my magnifier? Yeah. 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 This is interesting. So, uh, when I change lenses, I'll save this one to take a look at, uh, let's save one of these to take a look at. Yeah, I'll save, I'll save some. Um, let me change lenses and we'll uh, start looking at some of these more close. Okay. You can see my finger here. These are, these are pretty small. Let me should get a, uh, get a ruler out. So we can kind of see this under camera. Uh, this looks like it's a, uh, a one inch code wheel. Um, here is a, here's a larger diameter one. This is a, um, about a 50 millimeter code wheel. And it's interesting because it has, a let's see, it has one section here that has just one mark on it. So as it goes around, this is the index mark. So it's just one pulse per revolution. And then the next track in, it's the 512. They're kind of hard to see here on this camera, but there's a whole bunch of tiny, little, tiny little sections there. So that's how that one worked. So here's a tiny one. You can see compared to uh, compared to the others, it's a little tiny one with kind of a coarse, coarse count on it. Here's that uh, uncut batch of wheels here. It's kind of fun to look at. Let's see, here's a bunch that look interesting. So if I can pull one of those out, piece of plastic stuck onto that one. So it has a whole bunch of what I would call tracks, right? The outer track is the fine, and then there's a course, and then there's like a almost like an embedded barcode in the actual wheel itself. So you could probably encode 
what type of encoder this was. So, so you could spin this thing, you could read that barcode and it might tell you, oh, you've got a 512 count wheel and then it would know, so maybe they had like a piece of equipment and they had different count wheels in it and they needed, the, the software needed to figure out what was loaded in and that little barcode there could tell them what. And then this one has a little hole right over here that's the index pulse. So it's just once per revolution. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Does that say anything on it? I'm trying to see if I can, if I can read it. No, it's just a part number. Yeah, that's an interesting little thing right there. I don't know what those were. Somebody can correct me if you know what I think about these things. Uh, so you can kind of see, you know, you can get a lot of, you can get a lot of these in a, in a package. Let me back up a bit. So these are just all engineering samples, right? These have nothing to do with production or anything. These are probably just, probably just uh, for engineering. Well, they might have been leftover production. I mean, I think they did do production in San Jose. So these may have been, these may have just been, uh, may have just been leftovers. I don't know. That might be nice for an art project. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, like I said, I think some of these are probably just Let's give this a try. See if this if this works or not. Um, uh, this is a linear encoder. So this is a strip of like a quarter inch wide strip of plastic. It says three hundred and sixty counts per inch on it. And so you could, you could have that. We saw one of these in that Epson printer that I tore apart, but this, uh, this is a linear encoder. So this looks like one, one uh, batch here, uh, ship to stock. This is the Consido company. So I guess that's where they got them from. This one's 50 pieces, 1998. Uh, here's the part number 5021-9502. HP part number is always 4-4. Here's a other type of number. Here's the lot number. Trace things back to production. Uh, yeah, so a lot of them came that way. Um, here's another one. Here's another one. Somebody wrote this as a 320 count wheel. That was a strange number, 320. Uh, quantity 50. Yeah, saw that one. Anyway, you get the idea. I've got a lot of these things and I have no use for them. Um, but they are, but they are fun. All right, well, there you go. That was my tour of my uh, hoarding of, uh, of uh, code wheels. And, uh, yeah, I'll put them back in a box and hide them somewhere and <laughs> they'll, they'll disappear forever, probably. <laughs>